Homer. Okay, let's get started. Now, I went to America to promote my first film, Sparrows Can't Sing. But how did I embarrass myself on the plane? Was you showing someone the emergency exit and your bra popped off? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. Oh. Any others? <laughs> oh, Anna, something's gone very wrong. <laughs> you tried to join the Mile High Club before takeoff. <laughs> Pat, you ever joined the Mile High Club, Pat? No. Pat? No. Pat? No! Have you my hydro? No. Want to? Yes. <laughs> Pat? Yeah? Are you a member? Yeah, cool. Oh, oh my God. God. Well, that's not the answer. Now, you've wheedled that out on me. You're very naughty. Where are you going? Where what? are you going? A uh, jersey. Jersey? You've got something to spare up. Jersey? Oh, you got there. It's only half oh. hour away. <laughs> I'd like to tell you. Yes. It was my first trip on a plane, and I asked the hostess if she'd open the windows because I was too hot. <laughs> Sad, but I didn't hear. Yeah. On Ryanair, you can open the windows. <laughs> <laughs> you can help it along. <laughs> Next question. When I went on honeymoon with my first husband, Ronnie, what was so unusual about it? Did you hear, like, a, a swanny whistle every time Ronnie got an erection? <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> I know this, Dad. Go on, it was a mix-up. You ended up with Ronnie Corbett. <laughs> <laughs> Did you lose your virginity? <laughs> no, of course oh. not. You did that in an airplane toilet on the way. Yeah, yeah, the Jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I do know. <laughs> What? She took Kenny Williams on honey honeymoon with her. Yes. I mean... <laughs> I took Kenneth, his mum and his sister. Oh. I'm big sure red. Oh, oh, I know. They're getting bigger. <laughs> the pieces used to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Did you have to put that through his hand luggage? <laughs> 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 In the 80s, yeah. I was the face of the Fresh Cream Cakes ad, which had the famous tagline of Naughty But Nice. Let's take a look at the advert. These cream cakes fault themselves. It's enough to lead a girl astray. <laughs> you want have a chance? Fresh Cream Cakes. Naughty. <laughs> but nice. <laughs> By that stage, it seems your hair had gotten so big it was growing off the screen. <laughs> now, I'm going to show you an advert. You have to tell me the tagline they used. The ad is under your desk. Now, this was an advert that Gary Glitter did <laughs> the young person's rail card. But what was the tagline? I love to travel with young people. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> Bangkok, one way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Anna? What, what do you think? think? I think a young person's ride to paradise. Young person. Oh, Anna, please. Oh. I can't take you anywhere, can I? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Answer. The answer is the things people do to keep hold of their young person's rail card. <laughs> <laughs> so the winner of tonight's contest is Alan! Yeah! And wearing the coat of cash on your behalf is the third evictee from the Big Brother house, it's Jane! from the dead and made one member of the public literally wet themselves with fear. So we see you in a bit! <laughs> Back 
to the Sunday Night Project. I'm Barbara Windsor and I'm very happy to be joined by Justin Lee Collins and Alan Carr. <laughs> Having you here. Thank you very much, darlings. Thank Thanks you. Are you having a good time? Oh, I'm loving it. It's great. I mean, I mean, it's a bit like live theatre, isn't it? And they're like pantomime people out there. It's a few ugly sisters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we say hello to the Ting Tings, everybody? Um, I worked with a girl in a clothes shop and she her name was Ting Ting. Never. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good name, isn't it? It is. My friend's called Sue Dooku. Oh dear. Thank you, Ting Tings. Barbara, I hear that every so often you like to contact the other side, is that right? You like to hold a bit of a seance? I do, but listen, it all got a bit much for one poor unsuspecting member of the public who joined me. You take a look at this. Right, here's the setup. I'm at home. And we're about to do a seance with a few of my friends. Only problem is, we need one more person to complete the circle of trust. And this is where Natasha comes in. She's a hairdresser who thinks she's come here to cut my hair. And this is her colleague who set her up. I'm going to ask Natasha to join us. But what she doesn't know is the seance is a fake and everyone's an actor. Hello! I explain we're one person short for the seance and invite her to join us before she cuts my hair. Somebody's not turned up and it's, you know, it's like the, the circle, complete circle, yeah. and we can't start. So I thought, do you want to come in here? Yeah, And definitely. have a go. Will you? Yeah, definitely. Oh, darling, we're saved. Oh, Barbara, oh, thank Natasha. you so much. Oh, so Hello. There we, go. <laughs> we sit down and the medium starts to do psychic reading for my friends. <laughs> After a few minutes, it's Natasha's turn, and we know all about her. I can see candles, and I can see a cake, and the number... Eight, 19, the number 19 and candles... It was my birthday yesterday. Oh, <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> As Natasha now believes, we start the seance. Let us close our eyes. Send our thoughts to the spirit world. <laughs> Open your eyes. We have contact with the spirit world. Barbara. I know you have a particular request. Yes, a relative, James Robinson, but he he died in very suspicious circumstances. I'd like to find out about him. I go on to explain that James was a circus clown and it's now time to mess with Natasha's head. Are you there? Oh. All right, all right, all right. No, this is a spirit who is in torment. James. <laughs> Tell us about your death. We're listening. Oh, no, all right. We switch the cameras right. to night vision. Right. I am in control. The spirits do not wish to harm 